What are we observing? Uh, what you see here uh, is an um, uh, aircraft that is uh, operating in a, uh, uh, in a U.S. Navy uh, training range uh, that has observed uh, spherical objects uh, in that area. Uh, and as they fly by it, they take a video. You see a, um, it looks uh, reflective in this video, somewhat reflective, uh, and it quickly passes by uh, the cockpit of the, uh, of the aircraft. And is this one of the phenomena that we can't explain? I do not have an explanation for what this, this specific uh, uh, object is. And, and is this one of the situations where it is, that's the, that's the object that we're looking at right there? Thank you. Um, and is this a situation where it was observed by the pilot and it was also recorded by the aircraft's instruments? Uh, we'll talk about the multi-sensor part uh, in a later session. Uh, But in this case, uh, we have at least that. For the first time in more than half a century, a House panel is holding a public hearing on mysterious flying objects, popularly known as UFOs. Seen as Kristen Fisher with the details. Well, John, this is a very big day. I mean, the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee describes this as one of the great mysteries of our time. And it's a big day for all of these people who have spent so many years pushing for more transparency into this topic, but especially for those Navy pilots who actually saw these things with their own eyes. Oh, thank you. Seven years after Navy pilots spotted this unexplained object off the Atlantic coast. There's a thing. It's rotating. Top Pentagon officials will be grilled by members of a House Intelligence Subcommittee. The first public hearing on UFOs or UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena, in more than half a century. For far too long, this issue wasn't even taken very seriously. It was essentially relegated to science fiction. But in a very real sense, uh, UAPs present a very real national security risk and the Intelligence Committee has responsibility to investigate. The hearing comes almost a year after the Director of National Intelligence released a highly anticipated report which examined 144 reports of UAPs but identified only a single one, which turned out to be a deflated balloon. Quote, the others remain unexplained. The report also documents 11 instances in which pilots reported near misses with a UAP. This is not tinfoil hats and, you know, conversations of Ellis being on the mothership. Luis Elizondo is the former director of a Pentagon program that investigated UAPs, and he's been pushing for more transparency ever since he left in 2017. This is a very serious national security issue. Something is in our skies. It has been there for quite some time, and we're just now having the conversation publicly about it. My God! UFOs first hit the American public's radar about 70 years ago pushing Pentagon officials to try to explain the unexplainable. I am here to discuss the so-called flying saucers. In the 1960s, then-Congressman Gerald Ford asked Congress to investigate, leading to the last public hearings on UFOs. Quote, I believe the American people are entitled to a more thorough explanation than has been given to them by the Air Force. But the Air Force investigation, known as Project Blue Book, concluded that UFOs were not extraterrestrial, nor did they pose a threat to our national security. Now, another congressman, Andre Carson, is pushing for similar answers. I believe it's important that they work to declassify some of this knowledge so the American people can, can, can effectively understand what's happening. objects that caught the attention of trained Navy pilots be part of a top secret U.S. program? Could they be coming from a foreign adversary or somewhere else? <laughs> Whatever they are, the intelligence report concedes a handful of UAPs appear to demonstrate advanced technology, some without discernible means of propulsion. The speeds that they're exhibiting as well as the flight characteristics, uh, there's no platform or really energy source that I'm aware of that could allow something to stay in the air. Uh, as long as these objects were. The only thing certain is that they exist. The big question is, whose is it? And where is it from? And what are the intentions? And what are the full capabilities? And is there something we can learn from it? 